Hello chess lovers, I have another very spectacular game for you played at World Blitz Chess Championship 2017. This is a clash of two old rivals. With the white pieces is playing the reigning world champion Magnus Carlsen and his opponent is Sergei Karyakin. Carlsen started with e4 and e5 by Karyakin, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, we see the Spanish game. Knight f6, Karyakin goes for this solid Berlin defense and d3. This is an anti-Berlin system. This is also called Steinitz move with which he scored many spectacular successes during his long reign as world champion. Now Black has several options d3 or bishop c5, Karyakin chooses bishop c5. Carlsen captures on c6, d takes c6. Knight c3, black castles, and bishop e3 offering an exchange of dark square bishops. Of course you can't capture e5 because of the simple bishop takes f2 check. If king takes f2 then queen d4 check, forking the knight and the king. This can be unpleasant for white, that's why after castling kingside Carlsen played bishop e3, but Karyakin retreats the bishop on d6 square. Bishop g5 pinning the knight, rook e8, h3 preventing any bishop g4 moves, and c5 by Karyaki. But this frees the d5 square and now Carlsen uses that fact and plays knight d5. Bishop e7 and he exchanges his knight with a dark color bishop. Queen takes e7. Later we will see in the game that the absence of dark square bishop becomes a real problem for black. White castles king side, h6, bishop e3, knight d7, knight d2, Carlsen is preparing f4, and at the same time Karyakin decided to send his knight for a long journey, he's going to bring the knight on c6 square. Knight b8, and there it goes, f4, trying to open up the f file, he takes f4, rook takes f4, knight c6, and while black is maneuvering with this knight, Carlsen is using this precious time and now he's starting to bring his pieces on the king's side. Queen h5, he is organizing a very dangerous attack. b6, protecting the pawn on c5. There was too much pressure on c5. And the rook also comes on f5, doubling the rooks and attacking the pawn on f7. Rook f8. Knight f3, this knight is also joining the attack. Bishop e6, rook h4, putting more and more pressure on h6. f6, at some point black can use this f7 square and black is also making an escaping route for the king in case white captures on h6. Queen g6, now white is pinning the pawn on g7 and now white is threatening to capture on h6. Actually such positions is very easy to play with the white pieces. When you are attacking it's always easier and on the other hand the defending side should be very careful and of course this requires a lot of time to calculate all the possible lines and it was in here that Karyakin made a mistake and played queen f7. Actually, it was important to place the bishop on f7 and kick away the queen. If queen g3, then king h7, getting rid of this pin. But instead we see queen f7, and now comes queen g3. Again, there is a pin, and white threatens to capture on h6. Now the thing is that the queen on f7 is misplaced. For example, now if you play king h7, getting rid of the pin, then... White can play knight g5 check and black is losing the queen. Definitely after queen g3 Karyakin understood that he is in trouble and he went for knight b4. This knight is now going to grab some pawns but that's not important. Carlsen is simply capturing on h6. This pawn on h6 is of course more important than giving up the pawn on c2. Karyakin captured on c2, now comes the knight, knight e5, using the fact that the pawn on f6 is pinned. f takes e5, black's position is so terrible that Karyakin decided to give up his queen. 
By the way, if a move like queen e7, then white has this knight g6 move, forking the rook and the queen. If queen d7, then instead of capturing on f8, white has stronger continuation. White can play bishop d2. Now white is threatening rook g8 check, and then if king f7, then knight d5 check for king the king and the queen. If queen d4 check, then simply king h2. If queen d8 protecting the pawn on c7, then simply rook g8 check. If king f7, then knight d5 check. If king e8, then queen g6 check. Now if bishop f7, you can get checkmated. Or if king e7, then knight c6 check is winning. But after knight e5, we see f takes e5, and now Carlsen is simply winning the queen. Rook takes f7, queen g6, the bishop is under attack. Bishop takes a2, while Karyakin is busy with grabbing these poor pawns, Carlsen is attacking, the reigning world champion is attacking, bishop g5, opening up the h file. Now there is a checkmating threat. Rook f8, opening up an escaping route, but simply rook h7, threatening checkmate in one. Rook f7, here comes bishop f6, intensifying the pressure on g7, and it's over. Karyakin finally resigned. Black is just getting checkmated. During this tournament, the reigning world champion proved once again that he is the best in the world. Your comments and questions, please. I hope that you liked this beautiful attacking game by Carlsen. Good luck.